Guys, something crazy just happened. So I just got down here to the lake and there's two guys that were fishing here and they gave me all of their fish. They also give me all their minnows. So I guess maybe I can try to catch more of these fish, but they gave me two and they are so pretty. Let me show you. So the guy came over and literally was like, hey, do you want the rest of our fish? Cause we're leaving. And I was like, sure. I thought they just had like bluegill or something, but here's some crappie in here. They are so pretty. Let me get one out. So hold on, let me pull up my sleeve real quick. Okay, here we go. So there's two of them and they are huge and they are so pretty. Look at these fish. Hold on, look at this fish. I need to hold it from the bottom, wait a second. Look how pretty this fish is. That is so pretty and its mouth is just giant. And look at its tail. It has like, I don't know, like a stripe or no, uh, what are they called? Dots, polka dots kind of on its tail. It's just a really pretty fish and there's two of them. So they literally had them in a bucket with like no water. And I think that he was giving them to me to like eat, but I don't want to eat them because I don't really like fish. Like I don't like eating fish. Wow, the wind is so windy. I'm literally sitting next to these canoes um, so that, cause out in the open, you guys would definitely not be able to hear me, but I need to get some sort of like windscreen or something. But um, yeah, these fish are crazy. I kind of want to keep them. I don't know if they'll stay alive though, because the guys were keeping them for like probably a long time in a bucket with like maybe an inch of water. And these fish are huge. So they definitely can't survive long in that. And there's a ton of minnows down there too. Probably like two dozen at least. Actually, probably three dozen. There's so many. Here, excuse me, little fish. See how many there are? There's a crazy amount. Guys, look, when I walk up to here, a ton of fish dart out of here. Do you see that? Look at how many fish are swimming out of there. Look at that. There's so many and they're all just going into here. If I get my fish trap, which I kind of think I should do, I could catch so many of these fish. Do you see them? They just keep coming. Look at all of them. They're coming over there. They're coming out here. It's just because I'm scaring them. Look at that. Wow, there's so many fish. And there's a ton of, it's mostly bluegill, but probably like one out of every three are baby bass, which I really want a baby bass. So I think that I'm actually going to set my trap in here. I just don't, it's like a boat launch, so I don't want people to come run over it, but I think I might set my trap, run home, get a net and start netting all this stuff out because I bet we could catch some crazy stuff. Okay guys, it is super windy out here, so I'm gonna try to do this quick so that you guys can actually hear me. But um, these fish that the fisherman gave me, um, thank you fisherman, you walked over there. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, I don't wanna keep them, or I do wanna keep them, but I don't have any place for them. And I don't know, they just need to be out in their home. So I don't wanna keep them in this bucket for too long. So I'm gonna let them go. So let's just quick, let me pull up my sleeve again. I'm just gonna quick let these guys go because they don't need to be in a bucket any longer than they have to. But wow, these fish are just gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, we're just gonna take him and kind of put him in right here. Bye fishy, have a nice life. There he goes. Okay, one more. I think this is actually the bigger one. This one is so pretty. These fish's mouths are just giant, wow. Okay, you can go in with your buddy. Here you go, bye. There he goes. Wow, that's a big, big fish. Okay, I'm walking back down here with my net. I know they're all along here, so I'm just gonna take this. I don't have any bread or anything to like put in the trap. Oh, there's our thing that we just let go right there. Right there, just chilling. Probably uh, getting used to the water again after being in a bucket, that fisherman's bucket for like probably an hour just without water. But I'm just gonna throw this right. I'm gonna put it right there, hopefully. Um, so that the fish can, cause they all sit under here. So if I can put it there, then maybe the fish will like swim into it from under all these leaves. Okay, here we go, ready? Gotta make it right in that spot. Okay, that was actually pretty good. So now this, I guess we just leave here. We just hope that no one takes it. Oh, or I could tie it into here. I could just do a little, a little knot, but I doubt anybody's gonna take it. I'll just pull this through here. Then I'll do a quick knot. I need both hands for that though, so. Okay guys, I'm finally back at the docks and I got the net. I'm just kidding. This isn't the actual net that I'm gonna use. I just got this one to get like any minnows that we catch out, but the big net is in the back. Um, I could not find the one that I was looking for. So this is the one that I got. Um, I'm not sure how well it'll work, but it's all we have. So, oh, that is too tall. I. I'm not that tall. Okay, hold on, I'm getting this so we can put our minnows in. Okay, 
Let's go. Okay guys, so I have the net right here and we are gonna see what we can catch. I'm gonna quick take my coat off because I'm not trying to get it all dirty. Set that right there. Okay. Let's see what we can catch. We're just gonna do a big scoop and I guess see if we can catch anything. Okay, that did not really scoop as well as I was hoping it would scoop. And all the water is just running back in, which I guess is good. But we can just look through and see if we caught any fish. I would also see movement of them like flopping around, but I don't see any, so. Okay, let's do another scoop. Maybe I'll do it like this so it kind of can hook it better. Look at this. Oh no, I dropped one. Okay. Look at this fish. I don't know what that's called, but that's cool. Hold on, let me go put it in the bucket. Okay, I got the bucket. That was super cool. Let's see if there's any more in here, because I lost one. One went down there, but there might still be some in here. Let's take a look. Let's see here. Oh, here's a tiny little bluegill. Just a small little bluegill. Okay, let's see what else. I do not know what that is. Looks like a root or something. Huh. Okay, I don't think there's any anything else in this scoop. Oh, just kidding. Here's another tiny, one of those little like, I don't know how to explain, but this is what they look like. They're like mud fish. I don't even know how to explain that, but in the bucket. I see a fish that I might have missed. I must have missed this one. It's a little bluegill. Oh, here's a cool shell. That's interesting. I'll put that in there. Okay, I don't see anything else. I'm gonna do one more scoop over here and then I'm gonna do a good scoop over there. I feel like I'll get something good over there. like an amazing scoop so let me set you guys up where you can see better like right right here but facing down a little bit there we go okay that's pretty good okay so right here there's some stuff right here I'm just gonna plop it right here and see if we get anything so there's a lot of leaves down here Oh no, a fish. No, no, come back. No, oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here's one fish. I think I lost at least like three. This net is not good. Oh, here's a bluegill. Here we go. Yeah, this net is not very good for this type of thing. But I'll have to go to the store and buy a better net. I'll probably do that pretty soon because Soon all, all of this will be gone and then we won't be able to catch anything. Oh, before the video ends, we also have to check our trap that we set earlier in the video to see if we got anything. Okay, I'm gonna do one more scoop right here for any of the fish that are hiding over here. Oh, little baby bluegill again. Tiny one, put him in the bucket. Nothing else. Whew, that one did not smell quite as pleasant. Okay, so guys, now what we have to do is we have to take all this stuff and push it back in because it's where all the fish live. I'm not trying to destroy their home. So I'm gonna tilt the camera and push all this stuff back in. Oh guys, I got two bluegills, two. Hold on. 
being difficult to grab. I got two. Okay. Fuck, I got two baby bluegill. In the bucket. Okay guys, so I pretty much went through this whole area and netted all of it to see what we could find. I'll show you in a second, but before we do that, we are going to quick check our trap that's been sitting here for probably about 20 minutes. Um, next video, or in a future video at least, I'll leave it in for longer and I'll also put some like um, bread in there so it actually, you know, hopefully can catch stuff. But yeah, I think this went pretty well. And um, as the weather gets warmer, more and more fish will just sit right here. So in the future videos, we'll definitely be able to catch tons of fish. So let me set up the camera while I quick pull this up. We'll see what we got. Okay, I don't know if we got anything because I didn't even put any bait in the trap. So, but there's only one way to find out. Oh, we actually caught something. Whoa, guys, look at this. Hold on, can you guys see? We actually caught a little bluegill. It must've just swam in here like, Okay, now I just have to remember how to open this trap. Hold on one moment. There we go. Look at this. We actually caught a bluegill. Look at that. That is, oh no, he jumped her out. Okay. That worked actually pretty well. Look at that, we caught this bluegill in the trap. Well, we're definitely gonna have to do that trap again and next time put bread in it so we get even more. Cause what I would really like is like a baby bass. Cause all these baits we just caught like, let's see, some of these we got from the fisherman guy, but some of them, like this baby bluegill, like this right here, this would be so perfect to feed to a like baby pet bass. So I'm just really hoping that one of these days I can catch a perfect little one. But um, that video will be coming soon whenever I actually end up catching one. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below because we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before I catch a single turtle this spring. And that's pretty soon. So make sure to go hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.